Well, joining me now is Councillor Keith Gregory, who you just saw in that report from Kieran Jenkins, and Bill Brayton, a former Deputy Police Commissioner here in North Wales. Well, Keith Gregory, do you have any confidence now that you'll be listened to and believed in these latest inquiries? I, I'm quite hopeful. I'm quite confident, to be honest, now that um, uh, the, the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary and the Welsh Assembly I've promised not to leave no stones unturned and, and that I'm quite awful. The Waterhouse inquiry promised that though last time. What gives you that hope that things will be different now? It's I, I think if people have changed the views of um, the views that people seen um, used to think about people, The culture has changed. Like, yeah, culture change, that's what it is. Uh, Bill Britton, we've had dozens of police investigations, more than a dozen council inquiries, the, Wa the Waterhouse report, all of these inquiries, and yet so few convictions. Why do you think that is? I think there's lots of reasons. I mean, for me, the way forward is, is quite properly to have an outside force investigation, and that's been called for, as I understand it. I think it's very important that right up front, everyone is, is required to declare whether they have been or currently are a, a mason. Section 81 of the Waterhouse Report touches on it very fleetingly. It may or may not be a problem, but let's have it out in the open and make sure that people know what's going on. Well, you, because the Masons were, and maybe still are, very powerful here. I mean, do you, do you think there were people being protected by pillars of the establishment? I don't know. I mean, I, I, uh, you know, there's an investigation to be done, and, and clearly that's not me because I'm retired, but the, uh, the, the fact that the questions there needs solving it needs clearing once and for all and the the suggestion that there could be undue in influences has to be has to be dealt with i i, I was never a mason ne never have been ne never will be um, and i was always very clear on that and therefore it never touched on me but i think if you know it's that concern that if you don't know you just don't know what's going on in the background keith gregory is the, the masons uh, uh, an avenue that needs to be investigated masons definitely need to be investigated especially in, in North Wales. Um, I think nearly everyone, especially on the list that I have, are all members of some sort of uh, Masonic Lodge. The Prime Minister has spoken today about the, the danger of a, a, a witch hunt. And you've got to say that a lot of these allegations relate to many decades ago. You're relying on people's memories. How much of a concern do you think that is? Um, I don't think it'll ever turn into a witch hunt. I hope it doesn't. But, it, um, but we are getting people coming forward um, really upset people um, but I... so you think it's the scale of allegations about the past that is that is emerging now it's it's not a witch hunt but it's just the scale of people who've been affected by this that you're interested in yeah yeah it is it's genuine honest people coming forward with a story to tell which they were never allowed to do last time bill britain you think is a danger of witch hunt well, I think any, any society should be judged how it deals with, with, with vulnerable people. And as I, I understand it, the Prime Minister said something about gays. This isn't about gays, it's about no. paedophilia, which is, you know, it, it, it's a completely different issue. Uh, you know, two consenting adults, fine, but, you know, th this is not that. And I think, it, you know, it's the test of society is how we deal with people who are vulnerable. And these were, these were vulnerable people and they weren't treated properly, and they should be. Bill Burton, Keith Gregory, thank you very, thank much, you very much for joining me.